mom, strategist, and best-selling author Mia Redrick regularly meets with mothers to help them prioritize their busy lives. So, you know, one of the things that I found is that as a mom, we're no longer multitasking, we're megatasking. Okay? And isn't that true? Whatever we do for ourselves is what we are giving to our family. I'm always ready to work out. So I always bring with me my jump rope, as well as my resistance bands. Easy way to get your workout in any day, any time. I love the toolkit, Mia. How about dads? Can dads have one too? Absolutely. Dads create the best toolkits. The deal is just be prepared for wherever you're going to be that day with your family to maximize the day. If you have ever said there are not enough hours in a day, you're going to love my next strategy called blending. Blending is when you are doing something for your children, looking for opportunities to do something for yourself. You guys, tell me, how are you already blending in your life? How are you taking care of yourself while you're taking care of your children? I have a best girlfriend who's a trainer who created a way in which we literally work out in her garage while, while our kids play outside. So we're getting me time, we're getting mommy time, and our kids are just having a good time. We've had over 283 self-care groups, and I think the power of the groups has been that moms have no judgment, just camaraderie. Uh, you have an opportunity to connect with other women in your demographics of motherhood. And I firmly believe that moms aren't necessarily looking to balance their work and their life. I think what we want more of is joy. Ready? Creating opportunities to experience <laughs> joy on a daily basis in your life is the goal. The next time you and your family need a getaway, try a staycation. What I mean by that is, Explore in your hometown, play a tourist. This might be exactly what your family needs to refuel and reconnect, even in the middle of your busy lives. Remember, when mama's happy, everyone else is happy. Now, when most people think of dating, they think of being single, going out on the town, but when you're married with kids, that's when the real dating fun uh, should begin. It sure is. Well, our mom strategist explains why and shares her rules of family dating. This is something you've probably not thought about, but it's worked really great for me, and it is dating your family. And you know, because you have six children, one of the things that works terrific is to be able to date at home. And what I get a lot of my clients to do is to create a dating box, and in that box, you and your husband can put things that you want to enjoy together. Because sometimes we have opportunities to date our partners, but we don't have a whole lot of time. It might be you have 90 minutes, but by the time he has to go and get the movie or get a meal, the time that you would have spent together is gone. Thank you, Mia. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Wow, wow. Well, welcome the author of Time for Mommy, 365 Daily Strategies for Mother's Self-Care, Mia Redrick. Mia, thank you so much. Stand up, please. Pleasure, pleasure. I really feel for this family. You really, you did help them with some tips, but what can we all take away from this? Well, dear time is such a simple way to build quality in your family time and to make self-care a reality every single day. It's simple. So drop everything and read. Drop everything and read. It will allow the kids to see mom and dad having some downtime and it becomes part of the family culture. Self-care. So what about the fact that she has no time to herself? She sits in her car and listens to the radio and lies to her husband about where she is just so she can have a moment to breathe. So what we talked about was them giving one another permission without guilt and supporting that time and understanding you need that when you have two young children. Mm -hmm. They're a couple that wants to be together. They don't want to be apart. And so you could see that when they started to date, just to dance together, it they reconnected immediately. I saw you covering your ears when that was happening. Why? It's emotional. Yes, yes it is. Because I love my husband and we all forget why we got married. 